This is a quick response to Piro 314. You have a deal there, Piro 2, Cogitas, Ergo S. You think, therefore, you are. Um, yeah, I'd be, I've got some problems with the, your use of the word will still here, um, and I think you're leaning towards the idea of unconscious will. I did leave a comment on your video, but I think I need to spin that out a wee bit. Uh, I know the term unconscious will is used, but it's not used in the way that you're using it. It is used in well, various different contexts, but it almost invariably refers to non-conscious desires or non-conscious motivators operating such that we find ourselves doing things which seem to be goal-oriented, even though we don't make a conscious uh, remember making any kind of conscious decision to have that kind of goal. But that's not how you're using the word will. I mean, you're using the word will absolutely as conscious volition. You know, you give the story of the homeless person who is either uh, kind of resigned to their fate and makes no conscious decision or pulls themselves up by their own bootstraps. In other words, engages what you would call, I guess, the power of will or conscious volition to change their circumstances. And that's different to unconscious will, isn't it? I mean, unconscious will effectively... The consciousness is, is just simply the witness to the operation of those of those processes. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an essentially an epiphenomenalist understanding of the, of the workings of will. If if will is simply the the functioning of the desires of the body, or func or simply the functionings of of the environment and the, the the responses of our bodies and our minds to environmental conditions, then that's mechanistic in the broadest sense and I don't, I don't want to reduce that to any kind of tin man argument but it isn't that isn't that doesn't present the idea of will as any kind of power or initiator of action um, it's it's simply uh, recognize that, that, that the things are in motion and we're part of the things that's in motion and consciousness is simply the witness to that which is not what you want I don't think um, just in, just in specific relation to what your video uh, says there, I think I mentioned this in the comments as well, but I perhaps wasn't clear. I, of course, I'm not arguing about the phenomenology of, 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 of agency and will. Of course, I, I feel like I'm making decisions all the time, of course. And um, my question is, is, what's the status of that? I'm not arguing it's, it's, it's phenomenological status at all. I'm talking about what is ontological status in the world. It's... As you've rightly pointed out in a previous comment exchange, many of the many much of the time when we feel we're making decisions, it subsequently transpires that we're not. I gave the example of dreams, but you also cited that in real life, and that's true. A lot of the time, we know that those decisions that we've made weren't actually decisions at all. We realise retrospectively that we had no choice. My question to you was, and still is, how do you understand the difference and the onus would be on you in this case, I guess, Pirro, to, uh, to identify what that difference is and demonstrate that that difference is, in fact, the operation of an autonomous agent uh, using something like willpower, as you call it. I think these terms are incoherent. For we've had this discussion before. I think these are artefacts of a different kind of process. Um, but that's kind of irrelevant. But I'm not arguing for the... Uh, I'm certainly not arguing for the non-existence of... The phenomenological experience of will, of course not. That's just daft. Nor am I arguing for um, determinacy. I can know my argument against indeterminacy. I've already said this before too. Of course, I know that the universe is a very complicated place, and reducing it to a steam engine, which is intricately determined and predictable, is not it. We had this conversation when we were talking about um, uh, what was it? Um, Game of Life stuff. Remember that conversation about Game of Life? We had, a, we had a conversation about it then, so I don't I don't really know why we're returning to that. No, I'm, I'm not arguing for predictability, nor am I arguing for the, uh, the obvious existence of the appearance of will. We're arguing about whether that appearance, what the appearance of that appearance means, what it is. You'll keep, you keep saying it's a power, and I think the onus is on you to demonstrate that.